What would happen if horses went extinct? What animal would humans domesticate instead? The thing about horses is that they are the perfect animal for domestication. They're very good at eating grass, being playful with humans, being personable, following directions, being trainable. Horses have been with humans for thousands of years. What would it be like in a world where horses didn't exist? What if horses were made obliterated by some sort of meteor that hit Chesapeake Bay and a lot of North American fauna went extinct? Obviously, there would be a lot of other casualties. Animals might evolve to fill certain niches. So what animal would fill the niche of a horse? What animal would humans domesticate instead? I'm not talking about training an animal like elephants. I'm talking about domestication, breeding an animal continuously alongside humans for multiple generations. Horses are odd-toed ungulates. So let's just get rid of all of those. What would happen? Well, we could go to even-toed ungulates, which would include the reindeer, which many cultures in Asia already use instead of horses. Cultures might expand faster. Empires might grow bigger. The Mongols would probably take over everything. But that's not too crazy. Why don't we get a little weirder? Let's just get rid of all ungulates, which means hoofed animals. There was another hoofed animal that had evolved in America for eating grasses and could have followed the same ecological niches and diaspora as horses. Atermasi was a species of rodent in the Chilean grasslands. Horses are great because they eat very easy food for us to supplement. If we were to have a new thing that we rode around, it would have to eat something very similar. What if we had a horse mouse, a house, or a morse? We can workshop it a little bit. It might look very similar to a capybara. Extinctions are so unpredictable. What if we went a little further? There could still be marsupials. Marsupial horses might be useful because of those pouches. We might be able to store small items and carry-ons inside of our horse. That's fun. We're not gonna see cowboys riding in the pouch of a kangaroo. Maybe marsupials would be a bad choice. What if birds were the better choice? People already ride on ostriches for fun and races for short bursts. What if we could evolve a bird that had the same level of domesticatability as horses and the intelligence of parrots? They would have the same speed as a terror bird, which could outrun some horses. Based on their ecology and diet, it seems that they would be mostly gray and brown to hide in tall grasses. However, for their ability to socialize with each other, they might invest in colors in their feathers. Let's take it one step further. What kind of lizard would we be able to domesticate? There was a species of crocodilian that had hooves, a crocestrian, an equestrian croc. So it's not so far-fetched. What would we domesticate first? Well, there's not a lot of options because one of the main rules of domestication is that they have to be nice. Female Komodo dragons can actually give birth without the need of males. That's evolved in Komodo dragons because when they mate together, they are so violent and aggressive that they don't want to hang out. There's one lizard that we might kind of focus on, and that's the Berenti, which is very easy pets and they run at levels of 20 miles per hour. If we take that and move it a little further, you might see Mongols riding giant lizards. And instead of hunting with falcons, they might have flying lizards that land on their arm. This is my hypothetical. We can do whatever we want. Here is a list of all the animals we've gone over. The best ones would be mouse horses and reindeer. In fact, I think reindeer are a way better choice than horses. The top tier picks for alternate evolution horses would be a mouse horse and a reindeer. Tell me in the comments if you think I should have supplemented horses with a different animal. What if insects were horses? No, Casey, you can't do that. You can't keep taking it further. It would be a millipede.